Sean here from Expert Island putting on his big PJ voice for the WRX 843. Now with this unit here, you get yourself a portable eight inch subwoofer with 500 watts of power back behind a D-class power amp. On the top of the unit, we've got six three and a half inch line array position speakers offset for maximum diffusion of sound. On the back of the unit, you're gonna find yourself with two XLR inputs that are also quarter inch, the combo jacks, depending on the type of microphones you have. You'll also get line three, three, and four. On line three and four, you'll also find RCA jacks, along with a 3.5, and my favorite feature, which is what we're using right now, Bluetooth. Easy enough to use, easy enough to set up, and with removable top units, you get one, two, three. The second and the third units are blank, allowing you to adjust your overall height. That simple and that portable. If you've got any questions, let me know. You can subscribe right down below. And don't forget, if this worked out for you, let us know. If you're looking for me, I'm Robin, and you're watching Expert Island. Well, there you go. You watched the video. You got this far. There you go. That's me demonstrating this unit. Now, I'm going to start by saying what we use here to record right now is an actual tort from Marantz Professional. That's the, the product that we have here. It's a great product for doing this up close and awesome. It seems like I got to get a better actual microphone for further away. The tort's got a great, great uh, condenser style microphone. It's all built in in one package. If you're looking for one of those, have a look at our website, have a look at the turret. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, camera built in everything, but that's another video for another day. The big thing I want to say is that this has a ton of bass and that microphone did not catch it at all. So what we're doing now is now we're actually going to take a look at the back of the unit, something a little bit up closer, something easier for us to see. Now, what we're also going to talk about is these guys right here. Now you get three of them with it, and allows you to adjust the size of the actual unit. We had it fully extended all the way to the top, which is really good if you're trying to play over a bunch of people uh, that are in, let's say, a bar or, you know, maybe you're doing a Starbucks. Maybe this is what you're using for acoustic play and you need to have yourself something to plug in your guitar and your microphone into. This is what you're looking for. Now, at the same time, no, it's not the same as buying the Bose or buying, you know, the Electra Voice or anything that's $2,000 is going to sound like $2,000. But the big thing is it sounds really good. And what we're really talking about when we talk about the Gemini product here is that it sounds really great at regular volume levels that you're going to enjoy to play it at. Now, if you're looking for something to do, you know, a wedding service with on the side, great. If you're looking for a DJ use to use at the wedding, no, this is not what you're going to be buying. But like I said, everybody who's bought one on our site has absolutely loved it because they think it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's play really, really well, give great range and a frequency and carry a sound across the entire room. That's what I like about it. And that's what's really what we're talking about. So yes, they do say it's got a D-class power amp and that it does. And that it drives the top with an AB amp, which is fine. Cause you know what? This is where we need a fire hose. A garden hose up here is gonna do the job, no problem. Now, on the back side of the unit, this is why we came up to the table. Lots of controls. One unit's gonna do everything for you and you're not gonna have to bring a mixer with you. You can have two microphones, maybe you're gonna have your guitar, maybe you're gonna have uh, two people doing some singing or some announcements. This is what you're gonna be plugging into right here. This is your combo jack, your 3.5, sorry, your quarter inch and your XLR combo right here. So it doesn't matter. Again, if you have a microphone, you just got one out of the box and it came with a free cable, you can plug that free cable right into here. You're not gonna have to run out and buy a new one. On top of that, we've got two buttons. Now these two buttons are really important because it lets you choose what this is gonna be. Maybe you're just plugging in a keyboard and you wanna use the quarter inch jacks to plug in your keyboard. You just need it to be a line input. So you hit that button there, changes the overall gain and sensitivity of the unit and allowing you to use the level control on top. Same thing for the second unit as well. Now it also has, and this is a great feature, sometimes you want the reverb, that echo feature to be on, sometimes you don't. You'll be able to turn that on and off on each unit. You can either have it on just one or have it on both. Now we come across, we're gonna, this is what we're talking about by line three and four. Three and four gives you three options to actually use by. We can either use it with some straight up RCA jack, so maybe you're just pulling off your laptop, you wanna plug into here. 
Maybe you've got a karaoke machine, you just got RCAs, you can do that too. You also get a 3.5. So if the cable you have isn't RCA to 3.5 or RCA to RCA, but it's you know 3.5 to RCA, and if you're stuck with a 3.5 uh, 3 end, they give you that extra jack right there. So it doesn't matter. Whatever you got in your drawer will fit on the back of this unit. The last two knobs that we see here, the one's the main master volume control and the one below is for the reverb. Why? Because we get to do our gain controls across the board using the top three knobs. Once we find that, then we can turn up our volume without having to readjust everything back and forth. That's really nice to have. And again, like I said, that's our reverb. So that's how much echo, how much delay we have in our actual talk. And then at the very end, this is really nice. Up here, they actually give you a small DSP processor in it, like a lot of the other speaker companies are giving. So this way you can get extra bass out of your unit or you want to increase the, the, the mid range so the, the, the speeches are, are clearer and crisper in sound. Uh, you can have it set for live play. You can also have it set for, they call it hi fi. And I, I'll be honest, it's just a retweaking of the actual uh, EQ, the bass and treble, and how the highs and lows are going to play. But all you have to do is press that button to get it to work. So that's everything about the backside. Yes, there's a fan. Uh, that again is the difference between let's say spending two grand and spending you know whatever five hundred dollars ish or less or whatever the price point of this guy is going to be so that's that's a big thing but it's very quiet and to be honest you're playing this not for oh i'm in the basement quiet there we also sleeping kind of volume level you're going to be playing this at a volume level that's mid-range or higher so you're never going to hear that to be honest with you and if you do you're being a little extra picky anyways i know i can talk about this all day eight inch subwoofer which is i gotta say a great way to go it makes it very portable and very easy to carry and it makes it very full at regular volume levels uh something you lack when you get into some of the bigger speakers when you're at a medium volume level it's not so punchy this one here just by using the dsp setting on it you can really get that the subwoofer going at a regular volume level again easy to use straightforward all you do is take a speaker, we'll take the actual very top unit. It's got a compression fitting right at the bottom of it. We're gonna sit it on top. You just push it down, that's it. Doesn't matter where it goes. If it's at the bottom, in the middle, or at the top, it's going to work just like that. Again, like I said in the opening video, I'm Robin, this is Expert Island. And if you got any questions or comments, Leave them down below. I'd like it if you subscribe. That would be awesome. Look for us at expertion.com and look for the products wherever you shop. Thank you very much.